Okay, I'm going to give you the seven things you need to ask your real estate agent before you hire them. The first thing on your list should be, are you a full-time real estate agent? I'm not saying that it's bad to be a part-time real estate agent. You just want to know. This is your biggest asset, so you want to know, are they full-time? Is this what they do every day all the time, or is this a part-time thing for them? The second thing you'll want to know is, how experienced are they? And that doesn't necessarily mean years in the business. If you have somebody that's been in the business uh, 10 years, but they sell five houses a year, or you've got somebody that's been in two years, but they sell 25 houses a year, you have the same overall number of sales. And really it's up to you which one you find more value in. But you want to know how long they've been in it, or at least how many homes they tend to sell in any given year. Okay, the third thing that you want to know is how many days do their listings stay on the market on average? How does that compare to our market average, right? Are they selling homes faster or are they selling homes slower? The next thing you'll want to know is what is their list price to sale price ratio? Are they listing houses on average for 250000 but only selling them for two hundred? That could explain why they had more or less days on the market. Or are they listing them, for example, at two fifty? And selling them at 249 or at 255 or whatever that number will be. You want to know. It helps you come up with what kind of strategy and that you're going to use to sell your home and whether or not they're the right agent to get you uh, what you want for your home and the time period that you want to sell. Okay? The other thing you'll want to know, how often are you going to hear from this real estate agent? The number one complaint when homeowners or home sellers are surveyed about agents is that, you know, hey, this person came and listed my house and I really never heard from them again. Or it has something to do with their lack of communication. So you want to know up front, am I going to hear from you daily, weekly? Are you going to put a sign in my yard and am I not going to hear from you for a month? Do they have any kind of guarantee about how often you're going to hear from them? Okay, great questions to ask. The sixth thing you'll want to know, and, and this kind of goes with number five, what happens if you're not happy with their service? Say they tell you you're going to hear from me every single day, and it's 30 days in and you've talked to that agent once. What happens then? Do you have any way to get out of that contract, or are you locked in with them for a full term regardless of their service? That's something I can tell you anybody who has a home that's expired on the market and their agent didn't sell it, that's something they wish they'd ask at the front end. So be sure to ask that question. The seventh thing, and you might ask this directly, but you're probably going to do better with an online search. What do their other clients say about them, right? How many reviews do they have that are positive? Do they have any negative? Do the negative ones make sense? Are they, do they have great reviews on only one platform, or are they across several platforms? Can you look them up and see, you know, okay, this person has a great reputation everywhere. So those are the seven things that you would definitely want to know before you hire your next real estate agent.